You didn't. They don't want to speak to you concerning the I will not technique taught by Neville Goddard, where he had the people to say, I will not climb a ladder in their waking conscious state. They're going to write it all over where they can see it and repeat it over and over and over that I will not. In that case, they were saying, I will not climb a ladder. But as they were about to go to bed each night, they were to imagine themselves climbing this ladder. And so those who climb the, la the ladder in their imagination and fall asleep climbing the ladder and experiencing in the physical three-dimensional world, they are the ones who got, would have gotten the invitation to come to the VIP meetings because those are the people he wanted to really speak to and to show them that if they could do that, that they could easily could have gotten a million dollars. In other words, showing them that they could easily transform their life and live their life whichever way they want it to be. And the reason for that is because the way you go to bed and the way you are awake is what shapes your life. So you have to become more aware of how you go to bed each night. Because you see, you can have the will whereby you can say you would not do something while you are in this waking state, while you are operating from the conscious mind. But as you get closer to go to bed, your brain changes different waves. And based on the brain wave, it gets you closer to the fourth dimension. It gets you closer to your spiritual self. Because the G mind man is God. Okay? And so, whatever is the last thing on your mind that you fall asleep with, once you have a certain feeling and emotion going, going to bed with this desire, most likely it can definitely impress upon your subconscious mind. Because your subconscious mind can be more easily accessed when you're in a drowsy, sleepy state. So my brother and my sisters, if you should take anything away from this I will not technique, is that you have to understand that how you go to bed and how you're awake is what is shaping your life, your entire life. And so... It's a way to practice, to know that it is not just what you, you say, but it is what is impressed upon your subconscious mind. And that is why you are told in the aphorism, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he, which is showing you as you think and operate in the invisible world where you impress your subconscious mind, so shall it become in the visible, three-dimensional, physical world. So my brother and my sisters, once you accept the fact that your spirit and you're having a human experience, then you will understand why it is very powerful concerning how you go to bed. And what is the last thing on your mind as you go to bed? Because as you can see in that exercise where they were using the technique of saying, I will not, I will not, I will not, I will not in the waking state. But in that drowsy sleeping state, they wasn't saying anything audibly. But inside, they see things through the eye of God, through the eye of imagination. They'll see through their mind's eye themselves climbing a ladder and they use their imaginary hands and their imaginary feet and climb the, the, the ladder in their imagination and then they experience it in this three-dimensional physical world. Therefore, I'm encouraging you to put it to work and prove it for yourself and that will help you to understand why the Bible tells you in Job chapter 33 verses 14 to 16 that is your instructions are being sealed 
at the time you're about to go to bed and when you sleep that is when it is fully sealed and it definitely gonna be established in your life so my brother my sisters try that technique think about something that you would write out i will not do i will not i will not i will not read it throughout the day read it in the morning read it in the afternoon read it read it read it at night but not before you you're about to go to bed right but you could read it in the evening but do the opposite as you're about to fall asleep do the opposite but you're going to do it in your imagination so when you do it and you prove it you will realize that god in man is man's awareness of being man's imagination and you can acquire anything in the invisible if you understand your invisible self if you understand the imaginary man that is within you is your true essence that is god in man accept your god self and win in life put this technique to work in your life so with that we said my brother my sister i want to thank you very much for listening to me i want to say to you if this is the very first time that you're listening to me and what i'm saying if it really makes sense, if it really resonates with you and you haven't subscribed already, I definitely want to encourage you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram and you like to follow me on TikTok, you can definitely follow me at Black Mad Guru. And also, I would definitely encourage you to get my latest book, which is called The Secret Vagina, Mystery of the Virgin Birth. You see, if you can really unfold the mystery of the virgin birth as it is in that book, you will understand that you can create anything. In this world that you so desire you will realize that you can impregnate yourself with your burning desire and you can bring forth your brain child you will realize that you are a deliberate creator that you are a conscious creator and that it is your right to live your life whichever way you want it to be for you are the lord and master of your destiny so i'll definitely encourage you to get a book plus spiritual recipe recipe for better living that's another one of my book i'll definitely encourage you to get that book also however if you check the links that are down below you get access to all of my books also if you'd like to be a part of my page and community you're most welcome and i have a course here for people donating 20 or more dollars it's called the innocent science and technology to create your reality consciously and that's what i'm teaching you that the sun parallels the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the sun for without the sun there's no life and there's no light and without the human imagination there's not, not there isn't anything made that was made and you're told that the lord thy god is a son a s-u-n and a shield and no good thing which he withhold from you so i'm showing you that you have an inner sun and you can use that sun power to achieve your every desire Along with that course is a bonus course on self-concept plus the many other videos that are available to help you to grow and expand. Okay, so feel free to check it out. So as I come to a close here, I just want to say check out all of the links that are down below and let your intuition lead you and guide you into what to do. So with that being said, I just want to say peace, love you all, and out.